All right, band, I have a um, another rhythm study for you. So I'm going to put on a metronome at 86 beats per minute. But um, feel free to pause the video, screen capture it, and you can practice it at slower speeds. You can practice it at higher speeds. Um, slower speeds, don't underestimate slower speeds. This is actually much harder to do at um, 60 beats per minute and below than it is to do at 120 um, because the tendency is to speed up and come in early and come in ahead of the beat so there's a lot of value to practicing this at a much slower rate um, so I'm going to recommend that practice it at um, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120 and as fast as you can go um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to clap um, again, ignore the melodic examples because most of you don't have your instruments, but um, if we look at um, these musical examples here, um, these are six attacks per measure and the most common variations that you're going to see. And uh, these are a lot of the things that we had difficulty with in band pieces. Uh, this figure here, these figures here. Um, dealing with those dotted half uh, dotted quarter notes and eighth notes and dealing with these ties um, and and how to count them and how to clap them so one thing that you can do if you're looking at it you can say um, and write in over the top if you need to uh, you can take this rhythm here and you could write in over the top um, you could write it out on a separate piece of paper uh, just any old sheet of paper, so something like this. I can just take it and write the rhythm out. So I got a pair of eighth notes, and then I've got an eighth note and a dotted quarter note. So I can just write in the counting one and two and three and, and then this quarter note, because it's dotted, lasts uh, over all of beat four. And uh, so if there's any rhythm in here that you're uh, particularly wanting to improve on, you could just write the rhythm on a separate piece of paper. Make sure you write down that counting and figure out exactly where it's supposed to happen in the bar. So what I'm going to do now, you can clap along with the video if you like, put on some headphones or turn your speakers up. Uh, I'm going to put the metronome at 86 and I'm going to do each example two times because the repeat signs and then I'm going to end on this beat one here so each example is going to happen twice I'm going to clap along okay I'll give it a count of four and then we'll start one two three four All right, so that was through the example. Um, hopefully you followed along. If there's any bars in particular that you have any questions with, feel free to email me, or if you'd like, you can request um, a specific time to meet on MS Teams, and we'll get together and go through some examples in real time, and uh, more than one of you can join at that time. So if anybody has a request, they want to meet on a Tuesday at 10 a.m. or something like that if it's between school hours I'm available to meet face-to-face -face on MS Teams to uh, answer questions regarding this lesson or anything musical that you uh, that you like I'll help you out as best I can over the over the video conference so um, you can work on this I recommend um, until they're all really flowing right away I would recommend you know, 5, 10, 20 minutes a day, whatever you need. Uh, so next week, we're going to look at a few more examples like this. And uh, I'm going to try and get some keyboard in there and, and do some sight singing with you guys. And uh, 
we'll we'll get some interesting things and uh hopefully um yeah just let me know give me a shout give me uh an email with your questions and uh i hope you're all doing well and and uh happy and healthy and hopefully we'll see you soon bye guys <laughs>